This is an EKB TV News special report presented by Appalachian Wireless. Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins here with you, bringing you another live report here on the ongoing flooding situation that we have across parts of eastern Kentucky. Now heading into the afternoon hours, the good news, round one of the heavy rain beginning to wind down across the region. You can see the back edge of the rain now moving through Paintsville. Now approaching parts of Salyersville all the, on the way toward Hazard. And this will continue to move off to the east. So a few light showers remain in the forecast here for about another hour or so for Pikeville, Prestonsburg. But you'll see finally things beginning to dry out across parts of central Kentucky. Unfortunately, the bad news is we do have more rain set to move in. This is the last hour, hour and a half here of the Doppler radar. And you can see the progression of the rain as it continues to move from the west to the east. Now what we're going to do is go over the latest on the warnings that we have in effect right now. A flash flood warning is in effect until 145. This is for McGoffin County, southern parts of Johnson and Martin County, all of Floyd County, Pike County, and Knott County. This includes Prestonsburg. This includes Pikeville. This includes Elkhorn City. Again, this flood warning, flash flood warning goes all the way until 145 this afternoon. Once the flood warning expires, we still have the potential for more rain to move in. So the flash flood watch will remain in effect for all of eastern Kentucky. That goes until 11 o'clock tonight. The only county not included is Letcher County. Now in western West Virginia, Mingo County, Logan County, as well as Buchanan and Dickinson County, that flood watch goes until 2 o'clock Saturday morning. We're going to broaden the picture with the satellite and radar composite, and you'll see there's the first round of rain moving through. There you see the break from Lexington down south to Middlesboro. Then we'll watch another area of heavier rain moving, moving through Bowling Green as we speak. This is moving also to the east, so uh, the break will allow the creeks to recede somewhat before we get more rain on top of that. And actually, that's only the first two rounds. We have three rounds to go through before we can finally consider this system done. I'm going to stop this for just a second, and I want to point out uh, on the satellite part of the uh, satellite and radar composite, notice some breaks beginning to develop from Evansville in the southern parts of Indiana in western Kentucky. We don't want to see those breaks. If we do see breaks and we get some sunshine, temperatures begin to warm up, we could be talking about the possibility of severe weather. That's something that we will also have to watch as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. I think the best chance of any severe weather will be probably after 3, 4 o'clock, but it will be something to watch. Here we go. This is the latest mo computer forecasting model showing there's the second round to move through. And here comes round three as we head into the late afternoon and evening hours. Once we get to about midnight tonight, all the rain will continue to move off to the east. We will start to dry things out overnight tonight. And it's actually going to set the stage for a pretty nice weekend. But we have to get there first, and we still have that slight risk for severe weather. Generally south of Interstate 64, so that includes all of southeastern Kentucky, western West Virginia, and southwest Virginia. The main threat from any of the storms that develop, heavy rain, damaging winds, large hail, and you cannot rule out the uh, possibility of isolated tornadoes. Of course, we will keep you up to date with the latest, not only on the flooding, but for the severe weather threat as well throughout the rest of the afternoon. So keep it tuned right here to EKB TV.